All right, and I'm back. Welcome back to my uh, darker side talk it to segmented uh, speed run. Let's get right back into it. For all uh, one people watching this, I appreciate it. All right, what was I doing? I was going to Sand Kingdom. Yeah, so like most uh <laughs> most uh let's play esque content on YouTube, I fully expect this to get like zero views. I'm really just doing this for the fun of it. Oh, I forgot to start the timer again. Okay. All right, I have both the hint arts here. Oh, you know what? Let me just go right down and grab this moon rock here. I have a uh, Bowser's Kingdom hint art and Wooded Kingdom hint art, which are both available in this kingdom. So that's pretty cool. I think this is going to be a good kingdom. In the skies above the canyon... The Lurker Under the Stone. Love at the Edge of the Desert. Alright, I know that one. The Lurker Under the Stone. That's gotta be up. It's gotta be up here, right? At, on top of the IP. That's got to be this thing. The lurker under the stone. Let's go. Okay. Was there not a checkpoint up here? I guess not. No, that'd be way too convenient, right? Um, okay. In the skies above the canyon. Oh, you know what I just remembered? We have this amazing tool. Huh, what the hell? So that's on these moving platforms down here? So it is. Alright. Yeah, so I'm like, oh man, I'm gonna have to look this one up. No, the game actually gives you the tools you need to try to find stuff. Skies above the canyon. And this works out great. Let me update the counter. This works out great because I can now um, grab the Bowser's Kingdom hint art. I'm going to grab these moon shards. I don't know if the play is to grab all of these things. I guess I might as well. Alright, Bowser's Kingdom hint art. Around here somewhere. There it is. Alright, now I'm missing one shard still. Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks. Um... But I have love in the desert. You know what? I'll wait until I'm back over there to grab the last shard. So this is love at the edge of the desert. So this is not... There are two Goombet moons here, I believe. Right? Yeah, there's that one up there. Let me just make sure I have the right one. Love at the edge of the desert. So this is the one that's all the way across. So this, the, the Sand Kingdom Goomba is a real ladies' man. Got multiple Goombets to go after. Alright, let me... Where is it? It's, I think it's about here, over here. 
I want to take the, the optimal line. Because obviously, running across the desert as a Goomba is very slow. So, if you can kind of optimize your lines. It's kind of the only real way to save time. There's also this little kind of... Get a little more speed vectoring off the slopes here. Alright, and back to talk to. Yeah, next time I'm in the uh, Moon Shards area, I'll. Grab the story moon. Yep. Hidden room in the flowing sands. Alright. Into the flowing sands. What the hell is that? Taking notes in the wall painting. Okay, I know that one. What is into the flowing sands? Into the flowing sands. Oh, really? Okay. Oh my god, dude, I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, into the flowing sands, I believe, is this one. Oh, you know what? I should, uh... Here, I'm gonna get the taking notes first. God damn it. Yeah, I had no idea where this moon spawned. The very rarely collected moon by me. Like, yeah, all really all these post-game moons, I've only collected like a handful of times. Not super hip with them. Where are my other moons? Into the f oh, and then hidden room in the flying sands. Did I update the moon for uh, update the moon counter for hidden room in the flying sands or um, taking notes? I don't think I did. to go back and watch the uh, footage later and figure it out. <laughs> Desert gardening scene on the cliff. On the lone pillar. Poster cleanup. Okay. Rumble on sandy floor. You got it. Oh my god. Found a sand kingdom art. I already grabbed this. I guess not. Okay. I don't think I'm going back to Bowser's Kingdom, so that's actually super unfortunate. Um, what else did I have? Lone Pillar. Same Kingdom Art poster cleanup. He's 
He's wearing a hat now. Before the post game, this bullet bill did not wear a hat. Absolutely do not know the fastest way to do this. I'm gonna grab those. I have no idea how much the uh, cowboy outfit cost, but I'm pretty sure I need it. Yeah, just same kingdom art. That is very unfortunate. It's going to severely limit our uh, comboing potential here. Same kingdom timer challenge three. Secret path to Toast Arena. Where's timer challenge three? Is that the key? Let me see. I think it's the key. Um, okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll go up here. I'm actually, I'm going to look it up real quick. Or I wait. Okay, it is not the key. So good. Glad I didn't waste my time. It's this one over here. Yeah, this is the one that gets comboed with, like, three other moons in actual darker side. Like, you grab it at the same time as the bird here. And that moon right there. That's pretty sick. For traveling, nice. Seeker of the mural. On the leaning pillar, okay. No, there was no platform. Oh, that was a mistake. Freezing way, hidden room. 
Goomba Tower Assembly. What? I know Goomba Tower Assembly. What is this freezing waterway hidden room? Okay, is that a sub area? What the hell is this? Oh, that is a sub area. Gotcha. Okay. I vaguely remember this sub area. I don't remember it being in sand. Wait, where's the hidden room? All right, I'm just gonna hope that it's super obvious. Okay, that was something. So I can go this way or this way. I'm going to assume this is the way to the hidden room. Yeah. Sub area claws. And then I had. Didn't I have one more? Goomba Tower Assembly. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna wait. Well, no, I can't wait too long on that. Alright. Let's go back to Takatu. But that is a underground moon on the World Peace route. Island in the Poison Swamp. Oh, I know that one. Let's go get a Goomba Tower assembly now, I guess. actually have to assemble the Goomba Tower. It just kind of comes already assembled. Not sure why they call it Goomba Tower Assembly. Saiyan Kingdom Timer Challenge 1. Saiyan Kingdom Timer Challenge 2. Alright, so I can't possibly mess this up then. Um... You know what? I'm gonna grab this checkpoint, actually. Just to be safe. I'm still missing one? Dude. Alright, I'm not sure what shard I'm missing. Because I did not collect them in the order I usually collect them in. Oh, there, there's one. All right, 
right, so that is a freebie. That's a story moon that we actually skipped earlier with IP clip. And here is... Not sure which timer challenge this is, but I have them both, so it doesn't matter. Timer challenge two. Damn. Always feels bad when you mess up a uh, motion motion control roll cancel. Just kind of feel like an idiot. Like trying to be sweat. It's like it's the equivalent of like rolling up a. Uh... Oh yeah, you like that by the way. The uh, that cutscene there. <laughs> it's the equivalent of um, rolling up a, a paper and throwing it backwards over your head into the trash bin but instead it misses the trash bin. That's that's kind of what missing a motion cancel, uh, motion, motion control roll cancel feels like. Traveling the waste. Welcome back, Jaxi. Alright, let's uh Oh, uh, these are this one's cycle based. Okay. I was gonna say, let's do um welcome back Jaxi first, then I can drop down to bird in the waste. But the bird is on a cycle and I have no idea where the hell it goes, so I'm just gonna grab this one first. More walking in the desert. Fish in the oasis. Okay. Um, let's go get that one first, I guess. I didn't realize walking in the desert had a post-game moon as well. I'm not sure whether to count this as a uh, mini game or not. I think I I think I would count this as a mini game. Yeah, because this is walking the desert. Hold on, I gotta actually focus for this. That's a little uh, a little tight. I don't know if this is gonna pass. Oh, that'll be fine. Yeah, because now he'll give me more walking the desert. I think this counts as a mini game. I think it should be like... Here, let me... Hold on. Gotta focus again. All 
All right, so I'm giving myself two moons there. I'm going to count that as a mini game and invoke the mini game clause. The reason being, um, you know, that's another situation where you could potentially get locked. Like the whole point of these like clauses is one to improve quality of life, but two also to kind of avoid these locks because you could get locked behind like say you have three moons that are all the second part of one of those mini games, you know. From a crate in the ruins. On the eastern pillar. Right, I only have two slots. Now, I believe for Eastern Pillar, I need to take this bullet bill down here. Whoa. The fuck? Really? I am... Okay, so clearly I, I messed that up and did not get the full speed. Because I should have easily been able to make that. There we go. Yeah, there's a there's a little trick to getting like the full speed out of those bullet bills. Uh, a little complicated for me to explain right now. But it has to do with your timing. Employees only. Alrighty. Mighty leap from the palm tree. Mm, I have no idea. I mean, I know where that would be, but like, what? <laughs> Never heard of that moon. Mighty leap from the palm tree. I mean, it's the only post-game moon over here now, so... I assume it's just above one of these trees, right? No? Oh, yeah, it's just... Okay. It's not much of a mighty leap. I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be, like, very high up in the air. No. Herding sheep in the dunes, gross. Sand Kingdom regular cup. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'll warp to this one. Dude, the lighting looks so weird here now. Like, I'm not used to this being, like, lit like this. There's some weird shadows going on or something. Claws. We get two moons out of this.
Not bad, not bad. I'll take a sub 30. Bad lines. Not, I, I do not have that angle down at the beginning. There's not a whole lot to this Koopa free running. It's just kind of like taking. Oh. It's just kind of taking good lines and really nailing these uh, motion cancel throws here. Mo mo why do I keep calling them motion cancel? Motion control spin throws. Jesus Christ, dude. Ah! Yeah, that was terrible. Um, yeah, it's really about nailing those motion control spin throws and transitions between the pylons and shit. Under the mummy's something. Jaxu driver. Alright, so we can do this whole sub area. And then under the mummy's, I think it's under the mummy's curse. That is um, an underground one. Jaxi stunt driving. This is Jaxi Driver. Under the Mummy's Curse, I gotta go down this hole. How the hell do you... Okay. I was gonna say, like, these guys are invincible, right? If the fucking cap throw doesn't do it, I don't know what does it. I guess you just gotta jump on them after cap throwing. Yeah, under the mummy's curse. Sinking Colossal Ruins, hurry. Okay, that's, I mean, that's definitely a sub-area. Desert Grinding Ruin Seed. Oh, that's that one with the key. You gotta, like, use the uh, flowers and run across the wall. 
That one's tough. Peach and Sand Kingdom. Which, where even is it? Okay. So that's it, but I'm gonna go get Peach first. See if I can remember how to do this one. Can you? I wonder. Okay, I gotta give. I want to give this one try. I gotta. Sorry. <laughs> no, uh, I did not get the motion control. Little rainbow spin, but or not motion. Control. Little little rainbow spin. Did not get it, but whatever. I don't think I would have made that anyway. <coughs> The key to these flowers is to make very minor adjustments. Like, you don't... Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't want these, like, wide sweeping turns or else that's what happens. I missed it. Colossal Ruins dash jump. All right, that's not the one. Let's try this again. I gotta get the key. You're kidding, dude. my moon. There it is. God damn it. to the something love in the heart of the desert all right i know that one what is this jump onto the what nonsense now jump onto the transparent lift uh oh it's a sub area gotcha I guess I'm just a fucking idiot. I don't remember this sub area at all. 
Like, there's, like, some kind of thing I'm supposed to drop down to. Yeah. Yup. Alright, I gotta actually, like, take this slow. This fucking sucks. Dude, don't make me slow down. I wanna go fast. So it was down here. I wasn't crazy. This sub area is fucking obnoxious, dude. Alright, let's get the other moon and get out of here. God damn. Is this the only guy I got? I gotta take this guy all the way through? Jesus Christ. Doing this as intended. Feels good. Oh my lord, this is... Ah! Dude, the speedrunner inside me is is just dying. I'm just dying inside right now. Like, I just... I want to go fast, but I don't know this sub area. I'm sure, like, someone who actually runs darker or you know, all moons or something, knows this sub-area and can just do it without the fucking Moai. But I fucking need this guy. I don't know the, the sub-area here, so... I have to do this the slow way. <sighs> yeah. Jesus Christ, that was painful. That's our 400th moon, though. Let's go. What was the other one I had? Love in the Heart of the Desert. My God, dude, that is... Okay, so that's up there. To me, this sub-area is up there with, like, um, Excavate and Search the Cheese Rocks from Luncheon. That's another very rough sub-area. Not that it's, like, really slow. It's just obnoxious. Found in the sand, good dog. Jaxi reunion. I hate this one, dude. This is another obnoxious one. Um, okay, come on, doggy. Let's go. Let's go. I think it's up here. It's on, it's on one of these slopes. Where are you going? Oh, that was fast. For some reason I thought he had to go through like a bunch of other shit first. Shopping. Um, okay, let's do um let's do Jaxie reunion. No, we'll do shopping. And then we can leave and Jaxie will be right there. Alright, we can buy the cowboy outfit too while we're here. That is an expensive outfit. Oh my god, dude. I am not even close to ready. I was like, oh, it's probably like 25 purples total. 45 purples. Jesus Christ. I have not... I, I thought... I kind of stopped paying attention to purples because I thought I was good. I thought I was more than uh, good on purples. That sucks. 
All right, well, let me grab some purples, I guess. Did I grab these ones up here? I did, okay. Oh, I gotta get, uh... I gotta get this guy going. Jackson Reunion. It's not down here. I don't want to drop down into there. It's, uh, it's around the back. There it is. Copa Dune. Copa Stone Archway. Nice. Little any percent cosplay here. <gasps> How do I get this? Ah, uh, I need a bullet bill. <laughs> I'm so used to using the fucking iceberg thing from uh, any percent. Seek in the sand. Oh no. Um, you have to talk to the. It's not this guy. Oh. Hello. What's an invisible gleam? I don't know that one. That's a. I mean, it's a post game one, obviously. But I'm gonna have to check the list for that. Caught hopping in the desert. Uh, alright, let me find out what Invisible Gleam is, so I can route this Invisible Gleam. Okay. Alright, well, here's what we'll do then. We'll go down here, we'll grab Jaxi, little Jaxi action here. Uh, I don't know which of these, um, bunny rabbits is the right one. There's, if they're over, oh, that's not where they are. Okay, good to know. Oh, there they are. I don't know which one's the right one. I think it's the one on the right here. Come on. Nope. Nope. I wonder if you have to catch all three or if I just got super unlucky. Oh, okay, I guess that's one way to do it. I was just gonna do like a fancy ass uh vectored uh vaulted jump there, but I guess that works. Invisible gleam. The map says it's over here. Is it on top of this thing? Okay. I guess it is. Binding band return. Okay, I know that one. You're quite a catch, Captain Toad. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I don't care what the internet says.
Okay. I'm, I'm ch kind of chuckling just because, to me, I just know this Captain Toad moon as like an, a, a, a terrible moon to go for in bingo. There's a there's like you know get five Captain Toads is like a goal in bingo. Sorry, I don't remember what the fuck I was doing. Uh, Binding Man returned, right? Um, and and you never want to go for that fucking Captain Toad. Like every time I see someone go for that Captain Toad, I'm like, oh no. He doesn't know. Don't go for that one. Can I get down to Binding Band Return from here? Is the question. Is there, is there like a warp pipe or something? Oh, there's a slingshot. Good. We're good. Man, we're almost, uh, we're almost at the 500. We're in the home stretch here. What kingdoms have I, like... What kingdoms am I, like, not even gonna touch, is the question. On the North Pillar... Bullet Bill Breakthrough. On the North Pillar, what is... That's the one way at the other end of the desert, right? Yeah, but, like, do I gotta get a Bullet Bill over there? I don't remember. Where would I get a bullet bill from? What was my other moon? I already forget. God damn it. Bullet bill breakthrough. Alright, well, we'll start with that one because I know how to do that one at least. <laughs> I don't think I need a bullet bill for on the north pillar. I think it's literally just on the pillar. Let's find out, though. Oh, or not. Yeah, it's literally just on the pillar. Gotcha. Okay. I thought I'd need to get a bullet pillow over here. It's like on the east pillar. Treasure of Jaxie Ruins. Taking notes running down. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know this one. Okay. Something I also just remembered is I can go back to Mushroom and talk to Toadette and maybe get a bunch of free moons. And then just finish off with whatever's left in Mushroom. Okay. Why don't I wait until like 4.50 to do that? Because I'm not super familiar with Mushroom. There's also a lot of boss fights there, which are pretty slow. What I could get. I think they're all triple moons, though. Love a strange neighborhood. All right, I know that one. Hang your hat on the fountain. Very nice. Alright, while well, that's going, I'm going to grab this purple.
Wait. No, I don't even need this. Do I get to keep my... No. Okay. So here's what we do. Because I'm pretty sure if I, uh, if I play by the game's rules, I don't get to keep Cappy for this sub-area. Like, I have to do this Capless, which obviously I don't want to do. So we're just going to go like that. Okay! Uh, that was a terrible uh, judgment of space. Very, very bad spatial awareness there. Okay, just trying to, trying to stop myself. I can just log jump. I don't know why I'm overthinking this. Nice, nice rainbow spin, dipshit. I don't even think I need the rainbow spin. I think I can literally just long jump and cap throw. Yeah, I don't know why I was overthinking that. Above a strange neighborhood, and we might as well finish off the sub area while we're here. Yeah, I think I'm just trying to overthink this. It's not as complicated as I'm making it. Like, this is a Sand Kingdom sub area. I wouldn't expect it to be that difficult. It's also, it's not post game, it's post piece. So. Jamming in the Sand Kingdom. Jam uh, jamming in the Sand Kingdom. I guess that's... Yeah, we, we must be pretty much out. Yeah, besides Sand Kingdom hint art. Okay. Uh, let's give this uh, idiot Toad what he wants. Oh, no! There he is. Memories of a tough battle? I think it's, uh, I think it's the... Is it... Okay, I've gone too far now. Ah, I don't remember which one this is. Um... Climactic Duel? That's not Climactic Duel, are you kidding me? How is this Climactic Duel? That has to be a glitch. Are you kidding me? Climactic Duel. That's Climactic Duel. That's... I'm gonna double check that later. Okay, I'm getting closer though. It's one of these ones. What? No. All right, let me Google this. All right, now my curio my curiosity is getting to me. Okay, just tell me what I need to play for him. It's from a boss fight. It's just, it can be anything from a boss fight? Are you kidding me, dude? Where the hell are all the boss fights? Dude, my jaw is like hitting the floor right now. Like, Bowser Battle 1. Cool. All right. Thank you. 
That was way harder than I thought it would be. I was like, oh, this will be easy. He'll just ask for a song. I'll just, I don't, like, I, I kind of have them memorized. Not really, obviously. But I was like, yeah, like, this, this shouldn't be too bad. All right, let's get out of here. This music does fucking slap, though, you gotta admit. Dude, like, if I could have been going around... Remember when I was going around fucking Wooded Kingdom with that fucking sub-area music playing? Fucking Super Mario World-ass fucking music. Uh, I, how much sicker would it have been if I was going around Sand Kingdom with this music the whole time? That would have been sick. Alright, let's do some uh, Metro. I think once I get to, like, 450, I'm gonna go to Mushroom Kingdom. Um, and then I'll, I'll talk to Toadette, see what she gives me. There's the taxi man. Remotely captured car. Metro Kingdom Timer Challenge 2. Hmm? Did I never get the, uh... I never got hint art. Uh oh. That's right. Because I was a bonobo. And I didn't think, oh, I should just grab hint arts, um, whether or not talk to gives them to me. Swing in the breeze. Okay, here's what we'll do. Ready for this? Breeze. And then I believe, I'm 99% sure this is Timer Challenge 2. I'm gonna take nice tight lines around this. Oh, I, uh, I added one too many. I just won't uh, update the counter for the next moon. Celebrating in the streets. Taking notes in the private room. Alright, those are both pretty slow. Tell you what, though. I'll go into private room. Oh, I can't take the, uh... Can't take my moped in. That sucks. And then I, I'm gonna warp on out of here and go to lake next. I don't want to run with a dead slot here for too long. Alright, and the, um... The Metro Kingdom hint art is in Lake, so we're in luck here. We don't have to run with a dead spot. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah, this is uh, the pinnacle of movement right here. Did I have I feel underdressed here? Because I might be leaving this not and not too long from now as well. Let's find out what I had. Late Kingdom Timer Challenge one. A successful repair job. Oh, that's the puzzle. And then what? I feel underdressed, I did. God damn. It's unforch. You know, let me grab these. Yep. I 
All right, let's see if I can remember this. I usually, whenever I do like a bingo tournament, I always have the solution to this on paper in front of me. Oh no, dude. No. Alright, I'm flipping this every time. Let's try this again. Okay, so... God damn it. I, I need, I like, I need the solution in front of me. I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever solved this without fucking the solution in front of me. Oh, it's obnoxious. It's painful. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let me Google it. Alright, I have a solution up. This is not the fast solution. I can never fucking remember the fast solution, dude. But this is the solution that's given online when you look it up. Yeah. So, I was in a fucking bingo tournament once, right? And I'm doing this puzzle. This is one of the bingo goals. And the commentators are like fucking making fun of me. They're like, oh my god, what does he do? Oh my god, that works? That's a solution? I'm like, dude, that's the solution that comes up on Google. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's the only solution I fucking know. What solution do you guys know, you know? Uh, I guess there's like... There's, um... I mean, obviously, there's a faster way to do that. And I always have to ask... Every time I'm going into a bingo tournament, I have to ask the community, like, hey, what's the fast way to do the puzzle? Let me... I need to write it down again. Like... Uh, Lake King of Time Challenge 1. It's not a post-game moon. Which one is that one? Oh no. Oh no. Lots of, too many Google too much Googling. Ah Okay, it's the underwater one. I just I like I don't want to get it wrong. I'd rather take a second to Google and make sure I'm getting it right than uh get the wrong one and and waste a moon. You know what I'm saying? We have technology. You know what I mean? Let's use it. Uh, yes. I require swimming assistance, please. Give me all your best swimming gear. This will suffice. There's a clip you can do to get into this, but it's really obnoxiously hard. It's like, for me, it's not even worth it. I, I get the clip probably one out of 20 tries, which is just, like, painful. Like, I'd be sitting there throwing myself at the wall forever trying to get through. What's in the box? Lake fishing. Found with Lake Kingdom art. Okay. Oh, I should have grabbed the uh, cheap cheap.
Alright. Uh, lake fishing, I think I can just warp over there. Uh, there, yeah, I don't know why I got confused there. Really? Dude, this is like the worst fishing moon in the game, I think. Like, fishing in every other kingdom is so much easier. It's just like, because this guy spawns facing a wall, and there's like nothing you can do to get his attention without scaring him away. Yeah, see, like, I already looked at the, uh, hint art here, I, I remember that. But I've already been to Cascade. Cascade is where the hint art is. Or the, the moon is from the hint art, so... Alright, I'll go back to Takatu. We'll see what he gives me. I don't know if I want to run with a dead slot for too long, though. Kind of why I left the last two kingdoms. Lake gardening, spiky passage seed, gross. Rooftop of the water plaza? Alright, I assume that's over here somewhere. Rooftop of the water plaza. Oh my god. Chill. Yeah, let's, um, let's get out of here. We're at 431 right now. We can probably finish off in Mushroom. Alright, I'm gonna make a... a Quick pit stop at Cascade. I know this is pretty slow, but... Oh, man. I, I, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think about this. Man, this is satisfying. Fucking Craigasm. Well, this is a good chance to see what I'm at. Four thirty-seven. There's no way I grabbed that many incorrect moons. I just must have forgotten to update the counter for some. I'm going to assume that my counter is correct, though, just to be safe. Yeah, dark side. Um, I'm going to stop and cascade real quick. You know, there's a lot of fast moons in cap, too. There's... I didn't. I, I thought for sure I'd be like basically going to every kingdom, and maybe if I played this better, I would have. All right, I'm gonna call it here for this part, this episode. Um, I'll let the timer run a little bit to make up for the fact that I started it late again. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good natural stopping point. I think next time I'll be going to Mushroom, talking to Toadette. Hopefully she dumps a bunch of free moons on me. And uh, then we can finish uh, finish off in Mushroom before going to uh, Darker Side. So yeah. Um, I guess thank you for watching. All zero to one viewers. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you. And I'll see you next time.